All right, let's say you have a nasty model like this, a huge confirmatory factor analysis measurement model, and you'd like to produce some tables that look like this, a uh, validity and reliability table with the composite reliability, the AVE, MSV, and ASV, and a factor correlation matrix with the square root of the AVE on the diagonal in order to establish discriminant and convergent validity and reliability. Well, to do this takes quite a bit of time, even with some of the tools I've already developed. And let's say you get to this point, you create these tables, and then you realize, oh no, uh, it's not good enough, I need to change the model. Well then, I mean, you're just in a rut. You've got to go and do it all over again. It takes another hour or two. Real pain in the rear, and it's subject to a lot of human error. So I've developed a new tool to do this in a flash. Let's do it, let's see. So you just run this as usual, go to the output, go to estimates, scalars, go to the correlations table. You're gonna copy the correlations table, copy. And then go to my new stats tool, paste the correlations table in A1 of the validity master tab. Then go get the standard regression weights table, copy that over, paste that in F1, and then hit this button and it's done. It builds these tables for you. Here's that uh, convergent uh, and discriminant validity table with CR as well. And here's the factor correlation matrix with the square root of AVE on the diagonal. And everything that is a problem is highlighted in red and described below. So for example, uh, this AVE shows um, right here in K18, it's a convergent validity issue where the AVE for CLED is less than 0.5. So we know that it's gotta be greater than 0.5. So that is a convergent validity problem. Anyway, then if you wanna change the model, you just go back and do that in Amos, run it again, and then click to reset, and voila, you can recreate those tables in, in a split second. I hope that's helpful. It's been very useful for me.